everyone. We are live from the first Women in Machine Learning Symposium. My name is Joanna Kereshkeira and I'm a Developer Relations Lead for the TensorFlow community at Google and I'll be a host for today's event. Thank you all for joining us at this very exciting and unique event. We have a very diverse lineup of speakers from all backgrounds with riveting stories and experiences to share for today's event. It is our pleasure to welcome machine learning developers, product managers, engineers, entrepreneurs, influencers, and researchers pushing the boundaries of what we can do with machine learning. All journeys are different, and I believe that we have so much to learn from each other, and that's exactly why we created this event. At Google, we believe that diversity is core to innovation, and we know there's work to be done in improving representation to achieve equity in machine learning communities. As one of our speakers put it, to help us build more innovative and better ML products, it is important that our machine intelligence we create represents human diversity. Thank you, Margaret Reed, for the wise words, and I look forward to hearing from you and from all of our speakers today. We've crafted an amazing event experience to allow and empower you to ask questions in a safe space. Please take this opportunity to ask questions, network with each other, connect with our Google recruiters at the networking event, and most importantly, have fun. I would like to thank the team bringing you this event experience and all of our speakers for being here today, for showing up for the community and empowering the next generation of women leaders in machine learning. Without further ado, I would like to introduce you to our first keynote speaker, and it is my honor to welcome to this event Janine Banks, Google's Vice President of Core Third Party Developer Products. Thank you so much, Janine. The floor is yours. Thank you, Joanna. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us at our first ever Women in Machine Learning Symposium. I'm Vice President of Google's Core Third Party Developer Products, and it's my job to make sure that we're creating the tools and services that you need to be successful. Before coming to Google, I've worked with some amazing product engineering and data science teams at companies like Amazon, GE, and IBM. I've had lots of fun designing and building critical cloud infrastructure for data management, commerce, and compute. But it was my time at GE in the healthcare division when I first realized the impact that ML can have in all of our daily lives. I'm going to get into that and why diversity is so important when building and deploying ML models. But first, I wanna take a step back and share a bit about my story. I remember being a kid growing up in Brooklyn, New York, a place sometimes referred to as a concrete jungle. I got exposed to PCs and news about the future of technology through my dad's subscription to Byte Magazine. Some of you may have heard of it. He used to keep old copies laying around, so it gave me something to do when I was bored. Little did I know that the world I was living in would go from being a concrete jungle to a silicon alley, which helped lead to my love for science and mathematics at an early age. Well, years later, I was offered an internship at BNL the Brookhaven National Laboratory in New York, which is part of a program to encourage youth who live in Long Island, New York to pursue careers in STEM. Originally, my internship assignment was to lay cables for a new communication network at BNL. But on my first day, I got lost on the way back to the job site and I found myself in the data center. That's where I first learned to code. My story underscores how increased access to resources leads to an increase in opportunities for underrepresented people. Over the past few decades, there has been strong spurts of industry support for STEM. Investments by nonprofit organizations, private companies, the public sector, all open up the opportunity for people from different backgrounds and places to enter these fields. 
there have been moments in time with increased awareness and interest in bringing more people into tech and providing more equitable journeys. But these industry efforts really need to be more intentional and consistent. In 2018, Wired Magazine worked with Montreal startup Element AI to estimate the diversity of leading machine learning researchers and found that only 12% were women. That's quite shocking, especially when you consider that over 50% of the population in the United States is women. There needs to be a steady stream of resources and capital. AI and ML are helping people solve real problems today. That is why representation is so important, ensuring we are addressing issues, the correct issues in the right way. Because ML products that are used by everybody need to be created by teams with representation and improving accessibility is fundamental to achieve equity. Now, jumping back to my time at GE, I had the opportunity to work with amazing engineers, nurses, scientists, product managers, and designers building ML-powered decision support systems. MRI and CT scans generate massive amounts of data. It takes really powerful computation on huge data sets to spot tumors in thick breasts or lesions in brain tissue. ML is making that so much easier and helping clinicians produce better quality and efficient diagnoses. At Google, we saw areas where we needed to make substantial strides in product inclusion. For example, Google's Image Equity Initiative is a cross-product mission from our teams to make more equitable camera and image tools for people of color. Last year, we introduced low light mode for Google Meet on mobile using AI to automatically adjust your video, making you more visible if you're in a dark environment. Having too much light behind you, such as a window on a sunny day, can also be challenging for many cameras. Google Meet on the web now automatically detects when a user appears underexposed and enhances the brightness to improve their visibility. And there's just so much more to do. With more diverse teams working on ML, we can mitigate a lot of these issues before they go into production. With that in mind, our Kaggle team piloted a grant program this year to support the career advancement and inclusion of historically underrepresented data scientists who are Black, Indigenous, or people of color. This three-month program supported 49 participants through mentorship, education, and community resources, producing work to grow their data science portfolio. We look forward to growing this program in years to come. And now I wanna take a moment to also look at the tools and resources we have in the responsible AI and AI fairness space. We created a responsible AI toolkit at Google to help you integrate these practices into your ML workflow. I wanna take a minute to talk through some of these tools. Understanding your data is a critical step in building a model, and it's critical and central to identifying potential sources of bias. Know Your Data is a web-based tool that helps you understand rich data sets, such as images and text, and seamlessly explore them to spot potential biases or imbalances as part of your workflow. Another great tool is Fairness Indicators, which generate metrics for transparency reporting. So that helps you make better decisions about how to deploy models responsibly. This tool is part of the TensorFlow model analysis. Those are just a few of our product offerings. Please visit the Responsible AI Toolkit to learn more about them. The tools that I talked about are easy ways to start implementing responsible AI practices and mitigate biases in your ML solutions. When we build teams that are truly representative of the world and the users of our products, it leads to fairness in the ML models that power the world. Thank you all for tuning in. We have a great lineup of content. And with that, I wanna welcome Amanda to talk about the open source ML communities.